what's unique and exciting about the Envo meeting is on the one hand the breadth of topics that are covered there. There's few meetings that really have the same scope as the Envo meeting, but also the very high quality of the science and the speakers uh, that, is present, that are presenting there. And so it's a great opportunity um, to meet with people outside your own field, whether that's uh, old friends or potential future collaborators or mentors. And I really would encourage everybody uh, to go out there, attend the meeting and really make these connections. For me, what's really exciting about this particular meeting, not just the fact that it's in Vienna, but, but it's also a meeting in which uh, neuroscience, which is not traditionally been one of the stronger areas within EMBO is really very well represented and there's a fantastic uh, lineup of neuroscience speakers. Uh, Richard Axel is giving a keynote talk and then there's a plenary session on brain and behavior where we have Corey Bargman, David Anderson, uh, Edvard Moser and Florian Engert. Uh, and there's really exciting developments in neuroscience now where the tools of molecular biology, molecular genetics in particular, are being used to study brain functions at the circuit level. And all five of these speakers are really pioneers in that field. So this, for me, is going to be one of the great highlights uh, of this meeting. Well, my advice to the young researchers attending the meeting is, of course, not just to take in as much of the sciences as you possibly can, but also to take advantage of the possibilities there to meet with scientists outside your own field. And this is one thing that EMBO does extremely well at these meetings, is, is organizing networking activities and so go to those lunches, go to the Meet the Speaker events and really uh, make the connections there to meet with the preeminent scientists in the various fields at the meeting. Well while they're in Vienna I think it'd be great, all, all participants should take uh, the opportunity to visit this wonderful city. I mean it's, it's my favorite city in Europe obviously, has a lot to offer. Uh, I know time for many people will be short, but uh, it's for the art lovers, you know, go and go to the Leopold Museum, the Albertina, the Belvedere. For the music lovers, there's a Musikverein, the, the Staatsoper, many great concerts. And for anybody, just take an hour or two to spend some time in one of the many lovely Viennese cafes. It's a great place just to spend a few hours wandering around the city, enjoying it.